Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to put your 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee into flat tow mode. Now what we recommend doing is printing out the flat towing section of your owner's manual online. Um, print it out so that you have a copy, you can keep it in your dash. Um, that way you don't have to flip through the owner's manual to find it each time you do it. So going through the instructions, we're going to start by bringing our vehicle to a stop and shift into park, which we're already in. Then we'll want to turn the engine off. Now, if you have this keyless enter and go option on your Jeep, we're going to need to remove this button. So typically you can get your fingernails behind it and pop it out. If it's been in there for a while, I did this earlier and it was a little bit more difficult to get out. So we're going to need to remove this, set it to the side. Then we'll take our key and insert it in the normal key slot and turn it to the on run position which you'll see all your diagnostic things pop up once it's in that now we'll want to push and hold the brake pedal and shift the transmission into neutral on our next page Using a ballpoint pen or something sharp, you can, or to a fine point, see this little neutral button? That is going to be our transfer case neutral. So it says to push and hold this until the light turns solid. Now we just heard the transfer case shift in a neutral and it set it on our dash. So after the shift is complete, the light stays on, so we got that taken care of. Now we'll want to start the engine, shift the transmission into reverse, and this is essentially just the test to make sure the transfer case has truly disconnected. So we'll let go, and the car is rolling back, but that's because we're on a little bit of a slope here, um, but there is no power running backwards. Now we'll need to turn the vehicle off, and then turn it back to the on run position. Firmly apply the parking brake and shift our transmission into park. At this time, you'll want to attach your vehicle to your tow bar. And when, it, when you're ready to take off, you'll want to release the parking brake and that will allow your vehicle to freely roll. Now the last thing you have to do before you take off with everything hooked up to your motorhome and the parking brake released, you'll want to disconnect the negative post to your battery, which is going to be underneath your passenger seat if you move it all the way up. Um, this is where your battery is going to be. Disconnect the negative side or what I recommend is install a battery disconnect, um, which is just going to be the push of a button and it'll disconnect that negative side of your battery.